Hi! So I am popping in here. Um, Summer talked about sharing your story earlier today and she asked me to share my story with you guys. Um, I'm going to start my timer because I don't want to be talking forever. Um, so my name is Jennifer Wood and I am a two-star diamond on Team Courage and I've been coaching for about four and a half years. And um, it has been an amazing journey and um, I wouldn't change it for anything. So just to kind of go off of um, what, how kind of Summer said to share your story. Um, before coaching, I was, um, I was lost. I felt alone. I was depressed. I was sad. I was angry. I was resentful. I hated my life. I mean, let's just be honest. I hated my life. I hated my kids. I hated my husband. I felt like, you know, at 35 years old, I felt like I was like trapped in this life that I had no idea how I got there. I was like, how did this happen? How did I get here? How do I get out of it? Like I wanted to run away. Like how horrible is that? Like I wanted to pack a bag and run away from my family. Um, I lost my identity. I lost who I was because growing up, I always felt like I wanted to wear a suit and I wanted to be like important and I wanted to like maybe be a lawyer or, you know, I don't know, I just had this like drive inside me and then I found myself this stay at home mom who was sad and miserable and lonely and depressed and I was like, how did I get here? Like, who is this person? And as a military spouse, I, I became my husband's social security number. And, and, and if you're not familiar with the military, like you literally lose your identity and become his last four of his social security number. People would meet me and they would be like, yo, you're Sergeant Wood's wife. You know, I didn't have a name. I was just Sergeant Wood's wife. And that was devastating to me. I mean, like I just, it was awful. Um, I felt like a loser because I don't know if you're familiar, but they call it a dependa. Like in the military, they call it a dependa, dependipotamus. I don't call people that, but there's a thing called a dependa. And that's just us military spouse who lives off like her husband. And that's how I felt. I felt like I just, I made no money. I lived off his income and I was miserable, you know, because I was like, how did I end up in this life? Um, I don't know. So, um, it was just awful. It was um, a life of, I would cry in the closet. I didn't want to get out of bed. Um, my husband and me were fighting. We were living paycheck to paycheck. Um, when we would go on vacation, my mom had to pay for most of it. You know, she would pay just to take us out to eat. She would pay for the kids' clothes. It was just like embarrassing because honestly, like I did go to school, I did go to college and I thought, you know, that I would be uh, like able to make an income, but I do have a special needs child. I have a daughter who has a mood disorder and I really had to be present for her. I did try working for a while, but that didn't work out. And, um, I just felt trapped again. I know I keep saying that, but I literally felt trapped in this life and I didn't know how to get out of it. I wanted to make an income, but I didn't know how I could do that and still support like my husband because he was gone and then he would be back and then he would be gone. And, um, so anyways, um, you know, we were in this place where I don't even know how long, oh great, of course, and there's no way I'm five minutes, I'm so sorry, I did practice, but um, so, <laughs> great. Um, but I found myself in this life that, that was just miserable, and, um, but since coaching, um, you know, even within the first month, I felt passion again, I felt purpose, I felt this, I, I was like, Oh my gosh, there's this community of people that love me and support me and encourage me. And um, that's what changed my life and that's what got me fired up. And so I found that purpose and that passion again. And I was able to stop resenting my family because I was able to be the mom and be present, but still have something that was for me. And then I was able to start contributing, you know, slowly at first. It was maybe $100 a month and then it was $300 and then it was $600 and then maybe $1,000. And, and that made me feel empowered and like, oh, I'm no longer my husband's social security number. I am Jennifer Wood. I am an entrepreneur. I am a CEO. And that is exactly what I needed. 
you know, we have been able to, in the last four years, pay off a new car. We have gone on date nights. Um, you know, I take my mom out to dinner now. Like, I buy her things. I pay for her vacations. Um, that is empowering, and that has changed my life. That has given me hope and me purpose, and my marriage is thriving. You know, um, everyone is just happier. And I, the other thing is I have taught my kids to fight for what they want, to not give up because the old me quit. I always quit. When things got hard, I was a quitter. I was never consistent. And now I have taught them to fight for what you want, to be consistent, to keep going. And I'm looking at my notes, but I am, I'm excited to get up in the morning and to help people and to make a difference in the world because that's what I always wanted. I just didn't know how to get there. Oh, there's my timer. I'm over, <laughs> over time. Okay. Um, so I am proud of who I am now. Instead of being ashamed of being a dependa, I'm proud of where I'm at. I'm proud to be my husband's support system. And now he's he's out of the military and he still has his identity, but it really is fun because now I see people around town or actually he will see people around town or he'll go to events and people will be like, oh, you're Jennifer Wood's husband. And I'm sorry, but that just makes me so happy because for so long I kind of hid in his shadow and he's not hiding in my shadow I'm not saying that he still has his own identity but I feel good because I feel like I made a name for myself and and that's all I ever wanted if that makes sense I just wanted a community to fit in and I wanted to be important I wanted to make a difference I wanted to be special and I feel like I am that now and um anyways so now I'm able to be that mom and be here for my kids and still bringing in income and still make a difference in the world. So if any of this resonates with you, if you have ever found yourself crying in the closet, if you've ever felt like, I don't even wanna get out of bed, if you've ever felt like, how did I get here? How did I end up 30 something years old and I haven't accomplished anything? If any of that resonates with you, then take my hand and join this community Join me, give me 30 days, let's dig in together. I'm gonna to introduce you to some amazing people, to an amazing community that's gonna change your life and just change everything. So just take my hand, let's do this, let's do this together. What do you say, girl? So thank you for watching, that's my story. Love you guys, bye.